the circle of life, and I'm not talking about Walt Disney. How will this affect your marketing? Hi, this is Gordon Basava, and you probably come across the circle of life. I think it was in uh, The Lion King, a Walt Disney production. And I don't know if you've ever seen the film or the uh, theatre play, both are excellent and I recommend it. But that's not really what I'm referring to when I talk about the circle of life, when, it, uh, when we talk about your marketing. Too often, I think, we assume that if we market to our audience, that if they say no, they're saying no forever. There are two things here that uh, I wanted to touch on. The first thing is, I don't believe they're actually saying no. They either haven't seen your message or they're just saying not now. And uh, if it's uh, not, not now, then you owe it to them to, to try again in a couple of months or you know, maybe six weeks, three months, six months time, just to see if now is a better time. The second thing is, if they haven't seen your message, again, you would be wrong in assuming they've said no. Simply because they haven't uh, responded to you doesn't mean it's a no. Would you agree? And as such, what I would suggest is you need to adjust your marketing in a way that feeds into these two principles. I think that the circle of life was coined by uh, one of the marketers, I think Jay Abraham uh, was one of the, the marketers who influenced me. The other, the other word for it is um, the moving parade. So what you need to consider, I believe, in your marketing is that people are either not seeing your message at the frequency you're sending it out, and if they're not responding, they're not saying no, but maybe just not now. Now, of course, if they say no, you can stop troubling them. We have a unsubscribe button uh, clearly on our emails. If they want to unsubscribe, they can just say no. Similar to, to the one you probably received this blog on. Uh, however, if they haven't said no, then they probably either haven't seen your message or they are not ready yet. And they may be ready in six weeks, in six months, in three years, in two years. We have the policy of keeping the message coming. You know, we have a whole load of messages that work for businesses to help them make more money, create more time and help their team work better. Now, each of those go out on a regular basis. We don't just stop sending them once we send them out once. And so I would ask you to consider how often you use your marketing assets, how well do you utilize them, and what impact do you get from doing it your way compared to doing it the way I've just suggested. I'll, if you are using this method, I'd love to hear your results. If you're not, I'd like to know if, if I've given you a slight uh, penny for your thoughts on whether you should or shouldn't. I look forward to carrying on this conversation with you in person or online. Until we speak, goodbye.